The magnet letters that go on the refrigerator, I've loved them for all my kids. You know, you'd play, oh, write mom up there. Mom, well, you need an M. Well, what's an M? Remember I showed you yesterday. She took her first state test in November, and we got the results back in January, and she just seemed so average. Well, we did take him to a professional counselor, and they actually said that he didn't have ADHD necessarily, but he had Asperger's syndrome. Well, what is that? That's a whole other world. We got the results back, and he's like, not only does this kid have ADHD, but he has ODD. I cried for two days. RX is the first one who I came in, they did testing and they said, this is where he needs help. I said, well, I know that. And this is what we're going to do. Well, that's cool. No one else ever said, then this is what we're going to do. It's a huge relief to realize that there's a legitimate answer. I think they give up and just think that it's all a motivation problem or just a bad attitude, not liking school. And so it really relieves the burden for the child and the parents to see there's truly something going on. The brain is just like a computer, a whole conglomeration of systems and networks that go, we call them synapses. And if I can develop more synapses, the more efficient that computer or that system is going to run. And that's basically what cognitive training is doing, is strengthening those pathways. Ready, go. These mental skills we all have are like tools. And it's like uh, building a house. And if the tools that one has is rather uh, limited, like maybe a hammer, a wrench, and a screwdriver, certainly you can build a house. Uh, you might have to use a screwdriver to chop the wood, and it's not going to look very good. It's going to take a long time. It's going to demand a lot of energy, but you probably can do it. But imagine the advantages you have when these tools are a whole lot better. That's the difference when we train mental skills. It makes learning and performing far easier, far better, and far faster. Tutoring is a band-aid, and it just covers up the issue. If you're not functioning well below the surface, then it's just not going to change what's going on. Everybody's brain can be better. There's no top to who wants to have a better brain. We've worked with three autistic children that, frankly, I was afraid to promise them anything, and they're completely different people after coming through the program. We've worked with adults that have come to us with focus and attention, ADD, being on adult medicine, and everywhere in between, college students that are tired of paying for the same class over and over because they just can't get it. So I don't think that there is just one market that we fit into. We truly can work with anybody and improve them. Well, at first I thought it was weird because it's a whole bunch of little triangles and stuff that you move around and put in shapes. and you're saying numbers and stuff, but um, it really helped a lot. The math teacher came and grabbed us in the hallway, my wife and I, and said, hey, what are you guys doing? And we said, what are you talking about? She said, I just gave the class the, this math quiz, and Eric was the first one done, and he mi didn't miss any problems. She said, you guys are doing something, because there's all of a sudden a big change. What are you doing? And so we told her about learning Eric. She said, I can't believe the change. Um, sing, spell, read, and write. We did 100 days to teach a child to read. We did a one-on-one -on -one tutoring. We hired his resource teacher after hours also to work with him. And we just have never made the progress we've made with this. It excites me. I mean, it really excites me to know that there seriously is hope. It might sound cheesy, but it's like from a mom's standpoint, there was hope for my daughter to get out of this victim mode, which is so big in her life, and it was taking over everything. And now she has a different perspective.